Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Loretta and thank you for being here. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to the new visitors. I appreciate every one of you. Today's reading is on the energies of the great state of South Carolina. Today's date is September 28th, 2022. I've already prepped myself and the cards and for i need to say the disclaimer on youtube this is for spiritual and entertainment purposes only all right let's begin the current energies around south carolina right now and we've got the seven of wands and i am a novice that's why I'm using a training deck. Speeds thing along, speeds everything along. And I, so. The energy crossing South Carolina, whether it's helpful or challenging, and we've got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. The past energy of South Carolina and we've got the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords. The energy immediately behind South Carolina is the Empress. First uh, major arcana on the board. The energy swirling around South Carolina currently is the Knight of Pentacles. The energy about to happen, and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Pentacles are about everyday needs. The energy of fear coming, and we've got the Nine of Cups. Cups is emotions, connections, relationships, love. The energy of how America sees you. And we've got the, the Queen of Swords. The energy of your hopes for South Carolina. We've got the Sun card. Major Arcana. The second one on the board. Right. And then the energy of your outcome, we've got the Page of Cups. Okay, let me take a good look here. All right, on your current energies, The Seven of Wands it's, is current, is standing up for beliefs, fighting for your corner, protective, defensive, determined, challenging, opposing, stamina, holding your own, taking, higher, the, taking the higher road, maintaining control and territorial. So that's the current energy there in South Carolina. And I would say this is a helpful energy crossing you with the Two of Cups. But the twos are always about choices. It's a partnership, unity, compatibility, potential, relationships, harmony, balance, quality, connection, proposals, engagements. So, nothing too difficult there. Past energy and the energy immediately behind South Carolina. The past energy, you've got transition into calmer waters. Healing, progress, moving on, moving forward. 
things calming down, calm after the storm, overcoming hardships, relief, stability. But this is in the past energy. And then the energy immediately behind you is represented by the Empress. Fertility, motherhood, sensitivity, nurturing, creativity, beauty, feminine nature, harmony. So those two it's past and immediately behind you. Energy swirling around South Carolina is represented by the Knight of Pentacles, which is patient, practical, loyal, responsible, persistent, protective, defensive, conservative, stubborn, ambitious, hard worker, prophet, finishing what you start. That's what's swirling around South Carolina right now, the energy. The energy about to happen. This is uh, the Seven of Pentacles is the making investments card. So things coming to fruition. Energy about to happen. Hard work is paying off. Harvest, reward, profits. Results, payouts, manifestation of ideas or goals. And that's about to happen. In your energy of fear coming, you've got the Nine of Cups. And this is about wishes coming true. Realizing dreams, happiness, cheerful, fulfillment, positivity, optimism, Prosperity, abundance, achievements, rewards, confidence. In your energy of fear, that's coming. Energy of how America sees you is Queen of Swords. Honest, truthful, candid, protective, independent, chatty, communicative, witty, funny, principled, fair, Constructed as criticism, strong, quirky, realistic, objective, and discerning. The card of astute, of being astute. It's pretty good. Energy of your hopes. You've got the sun. This is the second major arcana on the board. So your hopes are of positivity, freedom, fun, success, optimism, vitality. Joy, confidence, good luck, enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yep. Energy of your outcome. We've got the Page of Cups. Energy of your outcomes. Idealism, sensitivity. Spirituality, messages, there's happy news coming. This is the card of intuition. That's the energy of your outcome. I'm going to pull a clarifier on the energy of your outcome. Wow, we got the Queen of Cups. Because a page, it represents the, the youth, you know, the, the younger people. And the Queen of Cups, the clarifier, is feminine energy, mature and emotional, sensitive, kind, loyal, faithful, easily wounded. That's the energy of your outcome for both the youth and the feminine energy there. 
being told to pull another one. Temperance. Temperance. Temperance is about blending opposing energies. Balance, peace, patience, moderation, inner calm, perspective, tranquility, harmonious relationships, serenity. It's a nice outcome. It's a nice outcome. Okay, let me look at the, the face cards and the numbers and see what I can gather here. Okay, we've got this Okay. Current energy and the energy about to happen are both sevens. But no aces. We've got two. We've got a nine. We have another. So the sevens have uh, repeated. So let's see what uh, let's see what the numbers, what spirit reveals in the numbers to us. Solitude repercussions from decisions. Luck is on your side. Keep doing what you're doing. That's pretty good. That's good. Okay. And now look look at the where are they here? Yeah. Everybody looks busy and involved. The collective is busy and involved. And that energy that's crossing you, you know, with you standing your ground, uh, the twos also tell us there's a a choice that you're looking at making that's presented to you. The energy is swirling around you though. That's a card of your routine. But also, it is facing the void. So you might have a little bit of tunnel vision going on there. And the energy about to happen, there's in making investment, you've got contemplation happening. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing as dramatic as what's going on in some other states. So, you know, you're doing good there in South Carolina. Okay, now I'm going to pull an oracle card to uh, 
to close out the reading. I'm using the Spirit of the Animal Oracles for a message from Spirit. These are beautiful cards. You know, here's the back of it. You got a white bison at the top, white wolf at the bottom, and a bear and an eagle on the sides. It's a really beautiful deck. Okay, Spirit. A message, please, for South Carolina to end the reading. Guidance. South Carolina. Please and thank you. Guidance for South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, we have the moose showing up with his wisdom. The message is, let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. South Carolina, that's... Pretty nice message for spirit, I'd say. Well, I hope you found something beneficial in this reading today. And I'm sending my blessings and heartfelt wishes for each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping by and checking my channel out. Godspeed. Thank you.